A very good morning Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel and for all the new listeners, today is your 195th day of your Godly Blessing. And before we go ahead in this blessing, let's go and have a look at this link above which takes you towards yoga asanas, flexibility, also tells you about sleep patterns and diet which is what is good and what is not good for you. So have a look at that and let's go ahead with today's blessing. What does Baba have to say? Baba talks about how to be stable in any kind of situation, whether it's physical situation, or this emotional situation which comes every day in front of us. So let's understand what Baba has to say in today's blessing. Baba says, may you be ever ready, ever ready. The paper comes, you're not ready, you fail. This is the paper of life which God is talking about. Be ever ready in that paper. God has told us everything that what we have done in our previous birth, previous life and how somebody meets us, somebody comes in our life and takes a revenge or, or gives us any form of trouble, physical trouble, financial trouble or emotional trouble. Why does that happen? Sometimes we meet people who are not even from our religion but they are from different religion. Why do we get entangled with them? You get married to somebody who is not from your own religion, not from your own place. Not from your own state. Sometimes you're doing business with somebody who doesn't belong to your own community. Why does that happen? And that person comes, maybe takes away everything from you. Maybe that person comes and gives you a lot of things in return, out of nowhere. That person even kind of loves you and takes care of you more than your own relatives. Why does that happen? Well, it's all about the previous life, previous birth, and your own good karmas which you've done. So. Baba says, may you be ever ready and pass with full marks any paper of any situation and thereby become ever happy. So when we pass these situations as papers, we are ever happy. We don't get entangled into why, when, what, where, why, why not, why this person, why me? I've done so much good for this person. Why is he or she doing like this to me? So Baba says, the practical form, in explanation, the practical form of those who are ever ready is being ever happy. So if you're ready for a paper, this is Kaliyug. You can't expect it to be going smooth every single day. You could have physical issues. You could have relationship issues. You could have any kind of the kind of issues, financial issues too. And if you expect that everything should be smooth and if it doesn't go smooth, then you start blaming the weather. You start blaming yourself. You start blaming your family, your parents, your, your loved ones, your friends, the community, the government. God says that makes you unhappy. Stop doing that. Because that's a paper which you have to face. So the practical form of those who are ever ready is being ever happy. Any paper that comes through any situation, a situation arises, could be something which we have done in the past uh, couple of days. We took a decision because of which that situation has uh, arisen. So we need to go back and check whether I was emotional about it, whether I was thinking with wisdom. Wisdom means using your intellect and using your heart both. Because both of these things are part of the soul, not your physical heart. It's part of the soul's emotions are in the soul, not in your heart. Heart doesn't think, heart doesn't feel. You feel, the heart gets the sensation of your feelings. So God says that those situations could arise because of your decision which you have taken. Now through natural calamities, could be a natural calamity. You go somewhere and uh, you meet an accident because of a landslide or you're supposed to reach somewhere, you're not able to reach that place. So it could be a natural calamity or through any suffering of karma, with their bodies. So it could be what you have done, kind of food you have eaten for the past couple of years because of which you are facing a heart issue, you are facing obesity, you are facing diabetes issues and other things. Those who pass with full marks any of these papers are said to be ever ready. So God says, you have done certain things in your past because of lack of knowledge, lack of wisdom or because you were attracted by your five senses and you took those decisions. You ate a lot of non-veg, you ate a lot of oily stuff, you had health issues. You became overly angry, overly anxious, overly depressed because of which you are facing issues of uh, things like diabetes, issues of heart issues, your health issues because of those emotional turmoils in your life a couple of years back. For a couple of years you were like that, a couple of months you were like that and you have spoiled your health because of that. Yes, emotions psychosomatically, they affect you. So God says, those are papers which come in front of you and now you are not well, now you are not healthy. So it's a paper. Now what do you do? Do you fall back to your old habits or do you change them and start being happy again? So God says recognize them, realize them and then change yourself. Full marks, any of these papers are said to be ever ready. So 
just as time does not wait for anyone time doesn't wait for you time doesn't wait for me we have to change quickly in the same way no obstruction should stop you these kind of physical obstructions situational obstructions they should not stop us in any way we can't be sitting down and blaming around because we're still stagnant and sitting down and we are creating more of negativity move ahead move on and new situations new people new kind of financial resources new methods of being more healthier than what you were even five six years or five six months back when you started that wrong habit can be attained so better situations so finish any subtle or physical obstacles subtle obstacles could be emotional obstacles somebody said something somebody took away something physically from you as a physical obstacle emotional obstacles are subtle and physical obstacles could be uh, could be financial obstacles physical health obstacles those are physical obstacles of maya in any in a second finish any subtle or physical obstacles baba says of maya in a second and you will then be able to stay ever happy so don't look at obstacles as obstacles don't look at people as the reasons why you're not able to go ahead in life it's all up to us it's all up to me and that's what i need to do to be ever happy if i start the blame game i'll never be happy i'll be cursing myself and finding more reasons to belittle myself while i'm belittling others is actually belittling myself because i'm creating that negative force of energy within me even while thinking negative about others i might be feeling good and putting on the blame on to somebody else and feeling lighter for some time but that's not feeling light you're actually feeling heavier when you're putting that blame so that's what the shaitan or the satan does it makes us feel good for some time while blaming others but we don't realize that the science behind soul is that when you're thinking those thoughts which are making you feel good about blaming others are actually negating your purity removing your creativity and sapping you away of your energy <clears throat> this is what we learn in brahma kumari is the secret of how ravan or shaitan or satan within us is trying to hamper us so i leave you with this beautiful blessing think about it and if you have any comments do put them down below and we'll comment on that back i'll get back to you very soon about that and have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti Thank you.